Hey YouTube, it's day 65 of our Carolina Reaper Deep Water Culture Hydroponic Grow. And if you've seen our other videos, you know that we're growing under a fluorescent light and a LED light and we were experimenting with some nutrients. What we have in front of us right now is the Carolina Reaper plant underneath the fluorescent light using the Urban Hydroponics water-soluble hydroponic food that we picked up off of Amazon. Uh, check out below for a link. And this thing's doing okay. The root system is uh, definitely taking off. Good roots. And uh, what I did about a week and a half ago is I pruned all the under leaves to get some more light to these leaves down here. And they've actually taken off quite well. Um, what you'll see though is I feel like this light isn't quite penetrating down low enough or strong enough compared to the LED because when you see the LED plant, you're, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'll unclip the camera here. And we have some nice uh, flowers starting to develop if it will focus. And uh, down here, plants, the shoots are starting to come out nice. We could probably take some clippings. So overall, like we said before, adjusting the pH once after we change the nutrients and it's set it and forget it, it's been rock solid. So after two attempts with the Soul Innovations nutrients, we, we, we lost two plants. So what we have is our third attempt at a start, and we actually just switched over to the Urban Hydroponics. Um, what we're going to do once we take some clippings is actually attempt to use the Soul brand nutrients again because I just got back from the hydro store today and the guy was shocked that we had this happen twice and he said it sounds like they were being overfed. Um, so what we'll do once we get some clippings going is we'll, we'll continue that experiment but just for the sake of getting some peppers going we're going to use the urban hydroponics from now on. Um, I apologize if that throws off the experiment for anybody but just keep watching and we will definitely test that nutrient. Moving on over, this is the plant underneath the LED light using the Urban Hydroponics solution. And as I discussed when we were under the fluorescent, you could tell this, the light hitting here and the size of these. I pruned this plant the exact same way that I did the one under the fluorescent. And the growth is just amazing on this one. We'll take a look at the roots here. We have a huge root mass. Just absolutely huge. It's taking a lot of water. I've been changing the water about every seven to ten days now on this one just because of how much it drinks. And let's take a look at some of the flowers that are setting if we can get in here and get it to focus. We have a bunch of flowers starting. Uh, one has dropped so far, so I've, I've heard that with where we're at that it's kind of young. Uh, and that they could drop, but we're still very pleased. We have tons of shoots coming off here, so we know that we're going to have a ton of fruit on this, and we're loving, loving the results of the Urban Hydroponics on this, and just what the Mars Hydro LED light seems to be doing for us. So that's the update on the plant underneath the LED. Hopefully we'll have some fruit soon, and we get to have some of the world's hottest pepper. Moving on over, we, as we discussed with our soul nutrients, we have another new shoot that we, we just ended up going with Urban Hydroponics. We'll continue on the, with the experiment, but we're just going to go with that for now. And if you're wondering what this is in the background, I didn't have anything on the wall to reflect the light off. So we went on Amazon and we picked up some emergency Mylar blankets. I got like a 12 pack for a couple bucks and if you go to the grocery store, Mylar lining for your walls is ridiculously expensive. So I'll put a link to that below. Um, stay tuned, we'll do an update again in about a week or two and hopefully we'll have some flowers out and we'll cover how to pollinate uh, these pepper plants. As always, like us, subscribe, check out our other videos, and until next time, have a good one.